All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Kudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, blessings to the elect of Yasha Allah, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And blessings and salutations to you, I came out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth, looking forward to the downfall and destruction of Babylon, also known as America today. All right, quick lesson, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is beautiful. All right, so um, I was uh, just meditating, man. You know. A lot of my lessons lately been coming from uh, a lot of epiphanies from this year, you know, not more so dreams. I mean, I done had a few dreams and things, but uh, more so life experiences, I guess, you know, eye openers, I guess you can say. Um, but the most high very much is merciful, you know, and very, very, very graceful. All right. But uh, I just wanted to speak on a time, you know. All right. <laughs> um, and just <laughs> is I'm laughing because just now I'm thinking like when you go through this whole chapter, you know, it's about it's stories about men, you know, when they men and, and a couple of women who showed their faith. OK, who showed their faith and in a time of need, in a time of trouble and things of that nature. All right. And just, or just doing the right thing, you know, just doing the right thing. Um, but I wanted to tell a brief story about the time when I believed that the Lord was in a sense. All right. It's not like I wasn't, you know, a firm believer before, you know, I was, I was fresh in the faith. All right. I was very much fresh in the faith and, you know, growing up in the church, of course, as we all did, um, and it's through the spirit, you know, it's through the spirit, um, when I was at church, I used to stay in Mississippi for a little bit. When I was at church, I would always read the story of Moses, you know, the story of Moses. I, I would always read about him going and getting the Israelites out of Egypt, man. Every time it would get me through the service, you know, then I got a little older. That was back in like what, you know, the fifth grade, fifth, sixth grade, you know. Then I got a little older and, you know, I would try to go to church. I'm like, all right, I'm going to take notes today. I just never really was into it, you know, as I'm sure my story is not too much different from a lot of you brothers. But there was this time, you know, after I had found out about the truth and that we was Israelites and things of that nature. And my brother was playing in football in high school and <clears throat> they was... <laughs> They was losing pretty bad. Um, they was losing 30, 34 to 17. So they was down 17 points. I can't tell you which quarter it was and all of this. But, you know, I said, you know, if it, I prayed to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy. And I said, if this is, you know, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is where I'm supposed to be at, you know. If this is it, you know, I always believed in the most high, of course, you know, but I'm like, if, if this is where, you know, life is, this truth, man, this gospel, I said, <laughs> then they let my brother team come back and win, you know, and it's not like I was blackmailing them or anything, you know, I, hey, I just, I, I just sent up a quick prayer in a sense, but uh, something as little as that, though, right after I finished saying a month. Eden, my lady, jumped up. They bought the fumble. They bought the fumble. And sure enough, quarterback, hype, boom, fumble. My brother and them got the ball back, and they scored. Uh, that was that was a very long time ago. <laughs> I can't tell you every single detail, but I know they got the fumble, and they scored. I know there was an interception, and they scored. And then... Um, I believe, oh, yeah, there was a uh, the fumble. They scored off of that, an interception they scored. And then it was just like a, a long bomb down the field, you know, and caught it. Guy caught it in the end zone. You know, the other team didn't score no more the whole game, you know. 
the whole game. And it was, I was like, yo, like, that's crazy, you know? So, um, as this scripture says, Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, that was just extra proof in a sense, you know, extra proof. But like I said, I was fresh in the faith. You know, I've been through many, <laughs> many, many, many moons of, of chastisements, you know, many winters. <laughs> um, and man, the, you know, just to be where I'm at and the things that I've done and the grace and the mercy that the Lord has shown is just truly beautiful, you know. It, it truly is definitely beautiful. But like the scripture says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. So just as much as we expect the heavenly father to do for us, he expect for us to do for him, which is fear him and keep his law, statutes and commandments to our best ability. You know, we are saved. It might be in the same chapter. It might be the chapter before. Um, let me see. I know it's in here. Mm. Dang. <clears throat> but uh, the scriptures say, you know, we are um, we are justified by faith. Got to be Hebrews ten. I'm just like overlooking it. No. Dang. Well, maybe not. James 2 and 24. Uh, let me see. No, but I, I'll get Galatians uh, 3. I'll get Galatians 3. All right. Dang, well, I, I could just get all of <laughs> Um I'll get Romans 5 and 1. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the most high. Through our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know, and that's what we're justified by. You know, it's not about the laws because that can go with James 2 and 24. You see then how that by works, a man is justified and not by faith only because the works you don't. You, it's not just I believe in the Lord and you go eat pork like, no, that's what these Christians do. You know, they they believe. I mean, because there's there's hell coming to more hell coming to earth i would say you know there's more hell coming to earth and you're gonna need your how about shim yahweh shy man not god not yahweh not jesus not jehovah you know all of that no man okay his name is there for a reason his name is there for us to call on when the men of the lord was in dire straits, man. They called on the Heavenly Father. They didn't get to call him whatever name he they wanted to. No, who are you talking to? Hell, if you, if, if, me just being, you know, a man, if, if you call me any name, <laughs> I'm supposed to, you call me, hey, John, can you come save me? Like, what? My name's not John. That, that would be, like, <laughs> That'll be like my first response. My name not John. You know, maybe you got the wrong number. You're calling the wrong person. All right. And that's how it is, man. You know, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh being the most high by Hashem in the name. Yahweh Shai, his son name. He is deliverer. Okay. Yahweh, he to be, man. Okay. He exists. All right. He is. All right. So this is second Ezra's nine and, um, man, um, it's really a good chapter. I'll start at, um, five. It says for like, as all that is made in the world have the beginning and an end and the end is manifest. And that's why you see 2020 the way that it is though. The spirit is actually the year of 2020. The Lord man cranked up the prophecies, man. OK. Cranked up the prophecies. They talking about mandatory this mandatory that and through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by his mercy and his grace from elder 
Apostle Tahar on down. They've been teaching. We've been teaching for years about this chip being mandatory, uh, mandatory, this RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Now they're talking about mandatory what? Mask. Mandatory what? Vaccines. What do you think is you think they bringing out Sweden being I believe they're saying like that's the first country or whatever to have the RFID chip on like, you know, a, a normal scale, I would say, you know, they've been chipping here and there and there and here. You can get into this club or you can unlock your office door and all of that, man. But hey, it's out there. This end is manifest, man. All right. It said, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works, man. Okay. Chariots everywhere showing up on camera, on, you know, on on, on satellite uh, uh, videos, live videos from NASA, you know, with man, the Lord showing out, man. He told us that this is this is what we believe in. This is our faith, man. OK, this is our faith. Is that you? How about Shimmy is going to take out this place? All right. And it's going to raise up. Us to be joint heirs with his son in the kingdom of heaven on earth. Come on. It says in endings and effects and signs. So the closer we get to the end, guess what? The more things are going to be manifest, the more power and, and, and wonderful works and effects you're going to see. We're going to see. All right. Now uh, we're going to get this. It says in everyone that shall be saved. Right. You should be justified. You should, you should be justified, you know, by your faith. OK. And shall be able to escape. By his work, escape what? The times that's coming. A time like never before. You're going to have to have faith because it's going to be a time like never before. So you've never seen these things. You've never experienced these things. It's going to be things you heard of and possibly witnessed on a higher level. All right. So you're going to have to have faith. In your how about Shem Shai and shall be able to escape by his works. And by faith, whereby ye have believed. So you have, it's a, it's a conjunction of things, man. All, but they all, you know, they all coincide one with another. It's just like the, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, man. Okay? The thing that, that has them all together is they have the same mind. They have the same spirit. They got the same plan because they're all in order, man. Okay? That's how it works. That's how it works, man. Verse uh, eight, it says, and shall be preserved from this. And just to clear that up, you know, you have the heavenly father and then you got the son and the Holy Spirit is what this, this, the scriptures, man, the comforter, which is him. He said, I'm going to come unto you. You know, I'm going to sup with you. All right. I will abode with you, man. He comes in a volume of the book. All right. <clears throat> it says, uh, shall be verse eight shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them from the beginning. It's a people before it's a place, man. All right. So that is what's coming, man. Death, destruction, hell on earth, you know, that's what's coming. It's going to be a lot of perilous times, you know, like it says in the next the verse, it says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, which is what did what they wanted to do. Said and not all his counsels. All right. Rejected his word. Trusted us, gave trust unto Egypt. You know, trusted in this society and took the mark of the beast. All of those, man. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. And that's what's coming to the earth. All right. That is what's coming to the earth. All right. And only the elect will be protected 
by way of Yahweh by Shem Shai, by their works and their faith and whereby they believed. Okay? So the most high we know is definitely out there, man. So when you're going through your things, man, you just you already know that he is, that he exists. Okay? So just trust in him, man. Trust in him. He got you. He got you. With that, Lord willing, you was edified. And I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rechak Dash. Okay? Now, why not the apostles and elders of great millstone? Blessing to the elect of Yasha Allah, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And blessings and salutations to you, Akim, out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth. Looking forward to the downfall and destruction of Babylon, also known as America today. Shalom.